Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento with the mid-morning update, mid-afternoon update here at TFNN on the 22nd of December. And boy, folks, there's a fire sale going on in stocks today. In fact, everything. As you look at the quote board today, there are only two things that are up. Treasury notes are up uh, one tick and, and hogs are up 47 cents. Other than that, it's red everywhere. Natural gas, crude oil, currencies. The Dow Jones down almost 700 points. The Dow, the E-mini S&P is down 1,000 points. And the, and the, the uh, NASDAQ is down 41, 411 points, with the Russell being down 47. This is not good coming into a holiday, folks. There's a high probability tomorrow being Friday that the market should be up on the day before Christmas. And if it is not, that is a very negative sign. And since the holiday comes on Monday this year, that would mean there's going to be Sunday night trading, of course, because the rest, some of the rest of the world does not uh, follow Christmas. It'll be light, of course. Uh, but then they'll be trading Monday on, on Globex. So there's going to be a whole day in there. So don't be surprised if you don't see some type of a big gap if we close lower on uh, Christmas Day. The markets are in a bear mode, as you can see. They can't make up their mind. One day they get a good GDP number, and that's bearish. Today they get a good a G, uh, they get a bad GDP number that's bullish, and today they had a good one and it's bearish. And also they're talking about inflation being mitigated a little bit. And then of course we have the president of or the I guess he's the chief financial officer or whatever it is of the Ukraine. Mr. Zelensky was there, and he was talking to us about giving him money to fight the Russians for another four or five decades, like we did in the uh, Vietnam War. I certainly hope that doesn't happen. Anyway, folks, just remember these last few days of the week here, Thursday and Friday, extremely volatile because of the lack of liquidity, and it gets worse tomorrow. I don't know if we're open all day or not. As a matter of fact, uh, that, that would surprise me if we were, but nothing surprises me anymore. And we also lost somebody very important to the financial community for Scott Menard, one of the big hedge fund guys, passed away shaving this morning at the age of 62, had a massive heart attack, and that was it. And very sad. He was on CNBC as a regular all the time and a very, very nice fellow. I've met him once or twice over the years and uh, really a stand-up guy, a uh, very, very humble man, too. Anyway, that's what we're watching here today. So stay tuned for Trade What You See. It'll be coming up next, and we'll be talking about some of these markets and where we think they're going to go. And that's about all we can do. Do something for your friends out there, folks. It's Christmas.